Get ready for a fascinating journey into the unknown. We're about to reveal surprising secrets and o que ocorre no mundo espiritual quando compartilha isso? Are you ready to dive into the depths of mystery? The answer may be closer than you think. We go beyond the ordinary. Are you ready? In a deep dive into the spiritual issues that underlie sexual holiness, discover why so many people, including Christians, struggle to maintain purity until marriage. In today's video, we will unravel mysteries that go beyond the physical, entering the spiritual realm. Why are some unable to resist temptation, even though they profess love for their spouses? Our analysis begins with the words of the Apostle Paul in 1 Corinthians 6, warning about sexual immorality and its deep connection with spirituality. The message resonates, flee from sexual immorality, for whoever sins sexually attacks his own body, the sanctuary of the Holy Spirit. The passage reminds us that we have been bought with a high price, and our bodies are to glorify God. The Bible, in 1 Thessalonians 4, highlights the importance of each person controlling their own body in a holy and honorable way, in contrast to unbridled passion. In a society that normalizes premarital sexual relations, the Bible warns of the consequences of those who follow their own impure desires. This mentality, far from being harmless, is in line with the Apostles' prophecies about scoffers in later times. Você pode However, trocar parceiros é sexuais tão facilmente quanto troca de roupas, de um dia para o outro. The word warns about those who follow this trend, highlighting their dissatisfaction and propensity for division. Is modern society ignoring the apostles' warnings about end-time scoffers? We will delve even deeper into this intriguing spiritual topic. You will discover the spiritual ramifications of sharing intimacy before marriage. The mystery deepens as we explore the spiritual complexities behind sexuality and commitment. The warning is clear, the Christian who succumbs to sexual impulses can become an instrument of Satan, facing imminent destruction and separation from the Lord. But why do so many allow themselves to be led down this dangerous path? Before revealing the hidden secrets, it is crucial to understand the essence of marriage, created by God, for the full sexual satisfaction of men and women. Deviating from this divine purpose is a sin against one's own body, as the Apostle Paul warns us in his letters to the Corinthians. The question remains, why do so many choose to seek pleasure outside of marriage? The answer lies in the spiritual superficiality of many, who neglect the deep connection between physical and spiritual intimacy. When sharing a bed with someone, it is not only the body that is united, but also the spirits, as God's word proclaims in 1 Corinthians 6. Our existence encompasses the physical and the spiritual, and by indulging in sexual relationships outside the marriage, we open doors to the enemy. Relationships marked by fornication often face inexplicable crises, as souls are linked, making separation difficult. Let's consider the spiritual impact, even after years without physical communication, the simple memory or emotional contact can shake us deeply. The spiritual connection persists, making these people spiritually married, even if they are considered single in the physical world. The sad reality is that many marriages are in trouble due to spiritual connections with past partners. The spiritual war is so intense that spouses cannot find happiness, trapped in the shadows of previous relationships. What is the solution? Repentance and breaking these bonds by the power of the blood of Jesus. It is time to recognize the spiritual depth of our choices and seek restoration in God. We will continue to unravel this intriguing spiritual enigma on our journey. Stay with us, because the hidden truth may surprise you. The enigma of spiritual influence in our lives deepens, revealing the devastating consequences for those who indulge in the sins of the flesh. By making such mistakes, an opening is open for evil spirits to imprison the soul, destroying not only the life of the one who sins, but also family harmony. 
The seriousness of the sin is highlighted, and the warning is clear, anyone who does not repent can witness the destruction of their family, losing the joy, complicity and love that once filled the home. The fear of God becomes crucial, as He is the one who frees us from the enemy's traps, making us consider before falling into temptation. Have you ever witnessed someone whose personality changed drastically after getting into a relationship? This sudden transformation could be a sign that the door to the enemy has been opened. Relationships founded on the pursuit of carnal pleasure can result in harmful spiritual influences. An impactful testimony highlights the profound consequences of marital betrayal. The story of a successful man who, after cheating on his wife, saw his spiritual life fall apart, losing his job, family and living in depression. The only restoration came years later when he found Christ. However, it is essential to discern that behavioral changes are not always related to infidelity. Some face internal struggles and need help, while others turn away from God for various reasons. Spiritual discernment and the search for truth are essential. The testimony highlights the high consequence of engaging in sexual sin and how the pain can persist for years. The question that remains is, is it worth risking a few minutes of pleasure for a possible lasting misfortune? The answer seems clear. Remember that our body is a temple of the Holy Spirit. Gratitude to God for the gift of the body must be reflected in care, appreciation and purity. Society imposes norms that are contrary to the Word of God, but it is necessary to resist and choose the side of holiness. Jesus warns us not to become slaves to sin. It's worth reflecting, which side do you want to be on? The decision is yours, but remember that God's holiness does not mix with impurity. Choose wisely. As we close this deep dive into spirituality, allow me to share a final word, a passage that echoes in the halls of eternity. The Lord himself says, If my people, who are called by my name, will humble themselves, pray, seek my face and turn from their wicked ways, then I will hear from heaven and will forgive their sin and heal their land. This divine promise resonates with hope, offering forgiveness, healing, and restoration to all who sincerely turn to him. This message is not to condemn, but rather a wake-up call. God offers forgiveness and renewal to all who recognize their sins, believe in Jesus' forgiveness, and seek to change their lives. He is ready to stretch His hands over you, fill you with the Holy Spirit, and renew your faith day by day. Before we conclude this journey, I want to remind you to share this message of hope. Spreading the Word of God is a responsibility we all share. If this message resonates in your heart, share it on WhatsApp, social media and wherever else you can, let's reach souls thirsty for this transformative knowledge. If this story touched your soul and awakened your desire for more biblical stories and teachings, don't forget to leave a like. This simple action not only helps YouTube deliver more stories directly to you, but also enables other souls to discover this precious knowledge. If you are looking for a genuine transformation, a new journey full of purpose and inner peace, I have an incredible proposal for you. Discover the path to true fulfillment and accept Jesus as your only Savior. Your life is about to experience a revolution of love, hope and purpose. Don't miss this opportunity to live an extraordinary life alongside Christ. Accept him today, and start walking the path to true happiness and fulfillment. We are here to support you on this incredible journey. Are you ready to take the first step? Leave your answer in the comments, do you accept yes or no Jesus as your only savior? If you are not already part of our community, I invite you to join us. Click the subscribe button and turn on the notification bell so you don't miss the next exciting stories to come. Now, I want to hear your voice. Leave your comments below with questions, thoughts or suggestions for future stories. Your interaction is innovative, and your ideas are always welcome. I express my deep gratitude for your participation in this channel. 
Your presence and support are invaluable, and I can't wait to meet again, filled with revelations and teachings from the Bible. May the peace and grace of the Lord be with you always. See you soon.